WWDC 2022 is already official and it's happening on June 6th. So let's have a look at five crazy products that Apple might announce at this WW event. Right off the bat, invite features the Swift logo. Yes, the powerful and intuitive programming language that is used to create apps for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Which is why I believe it is safe to assume that this dub dub event will be focused on developers and Apple will be announcing latest version of Xcode and Swift. It is safe to assume that both of these programs will come with new features and APIs for developers and hopefully support for some more platforms <coughs> windows <coughs> next thing that we will of course see in this event are next generation of software yes i'm talking about new ios ipad os mac os tv os and watch os see rumors do not suggest anything major this year but we are starting to hear about some interesting features that might drop this year and one of the biggest and interesting changes that is rumored this year in ios is bigger widgets and i believe it will be a nice addition to our home screen setup Second major change as reported by Mark Gurman in iOS 16 is significant changes in notification. But there are no reports or leaks that suggest what exactly are these changes. So yeah, we can't comment on that right now. Another nice change I'll introduce in iOS 16 would be the ability to rename app folders in app library. But I'm not having high hopes from Apple on this one because it has already been one generation of iOS updates since iOS 14 introduced app library. So if they would have thought of doing it, they would have already done in iOS 15. But yeah, let's see how it rolls. Now, when it comes to iPad OS, Watch OS, TV OS, and Mac OS, there are literally zero rumors about it so far. And only thing that we can say right now is any changes that would be made in iOS would be reflected in iPad OS. So basically the tweaks that we just talked about a while ago in iOS, yeah, you'll see them in iPad OS too. The very first product that Apple might launch in this WW event is all new Mac Pro with Apple Silicon. Because we all remember Apple teasing the new Mac Pro with Apple Silicon in peak performance. Event. And they joined the rest of our incredible Mac lineup with Apple Silicon, making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. And if this happens, they'll complete their transition to Apple Silicon. Also, as Mark Gurman suggested a while back that Apple will launch new Macs in June or July, which is why I believe it will make total sense if Apple would launch new Macs in this dub dub event since this event is in June. Now, talking about Mac Pro, this used to be Apple's flagship computer back when M1 chip family wasn't introduced. Fun fact, the maxed out version of Mac Pro that you can buy right now cost around 49 lakh rupees. So to take this Mac Pro up a notch, Apple would definitely fuse two M1 Ultras like they fused two M1 Pros to create one M1 Ultra. I wonder what Apple would name this chip. M1 Pro Max Ultra? <laughs> Sounds interesting, no? <laughs> do let me know in the comments what do you think Apple might name this chipset. Can you imagine what specification might this beast would come with? A 40 core CPU, 128 core GPU, and a whopping 256 GB RAM. Also, a lot of leaks suggest that more Macs will be launched in this dub dub event just because Mark Gurman mentioned Macs, the plural form. But I don't personally think that this would happen because first of all, there are no products left to launch. And secondly, Apple won't introduce a variant of M1 chip in Mac Pro along with M2 chip in a different product. Another very interesting piece of hardware that according to leaks might launch in this dub dub event is Apple's VR headset. But I personally think that chances of its launch in this event is fairly low. And the reason I'm talking about this product in this video is only because there are lots of leaks that are suggesting that this will launch in this event. Personally, I believe that maybe in late 2022, Apple might announce it and launch it in 2023 WWDC, allowing developers to create stable apps and structure for this hardware properly. So yeah, that is it for this one. If you like what you watched, then make sure you press the like and subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated with everything Apple content, then make sure you download the iGeeks blog app. My name is Yash and I'll see you in the next one.